buddy and tiny. It's so good to see you. Oh. Um, is everything okay? Yes. It's just that today is my bird watching and bird drawing day, my favorite day of the month. But I haven't found a single new bird to watch. <sighs> Hey, what's going on? Laura's sad because she can't find any birds to watch. And draw. We have to help her. There's got to be a bird around here somewhere. What am I, Chop Carrion? I'm a bird, remember? Laura can watch me. Oh, right. I always think of you as a theropod. But of course you're a bird, too. And a theropod. Just like in a theropod cheer. One big legs with three-toed feet. Two lots of teeth for eating meat. Three a long tail for balancing well. And four theropods have a great sense of smell. But wait, I'm a theropod with wings and lots of feathers. And I can fly. That makes me a bird. Hmm, how about when theropods all get together, the birds are the ones with wings and feathers. That's great, Tiny. Plus, it rhymes. <laughs> you could even call it the bird call. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Elliot, this is wonderful. Of course, I've seen you before, but never on a bird watching day. May I bird watch you? <clears throat> you may. Thank you. Nothing makes me happier than to observe birds, identify their species, and study their features. Well, observe and draw away. I'm strutting. <laughs> now I'm stopping. Now, off I go! How about a loop de loop? Way to go, Elliot! Perfect. And there's one other way I remember birds I meet. This is my special feather collection book. Whenever I can, I try to collect a feather from every new bird I meet. Would you mind, Elliot? Mine? <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Here's one. Thank you. And thank you, Elliot. Okay, kids, place it right there. Well, <laughs> there we go. Laura, it looks like your bird watching and drawing day was a big success. Yes, I love bird watching. I wish I could find more birds to watch. <sighs> Never fear, Laura. You're with the nature trackers now. If you want to find more birds, we'll help you. And so will Elliot, right? He can help us find other birds. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do it! Excuse me, folks, but I couldn't help overhearing that you're looking for birds. This might interest you. <clears throat> Next up, Archaeopteryx Lagoon in the Jurassic time period. That's where Arlene Archaeopteryx lives. She's one of the first birds ever, and we know just where to find her. Oh, it's been a very long time since I met Arlene. Do you think she'd mind being birdwatched? <laughs> I don't fly much. I glide and prance. Oh, yes, this old bird still can dance. <laughs> hey, the trout? <tribes? laughs> hey. Nice. Nice. Come, Elliot. Let's give Laura something worth drawing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Go, Arlene. <laughs> Brava. Incredible. I'm so glad we found you at home, Arlene. It's nice to see you all. So, Laura. Did you get my good side? Oh, I think every side is your good side. Dinosaur once upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids popped.